Let me dig in. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it has been a while because my 9 to 5 has kept me busy. But today I'm in New York City and I'm going fishing guys. Let's go fishing! Guys, let's see what I'm gonna catch now. Come on. Number one is here, guys. Something hit my bait. Alright, fish on, fish on. They are strong. Ooh, boy. Yeah, they are bigger. Bigger. Yeah, bigger. Yeah, bigger. Like, what's the name of this one? Ooh, yeah. It feels really coarse. Well guys, after a long night fishing, I must say I'm so tired. However, I'm going to rig something up real quick. It's going to be a short recipe. It's very delicious. It's interesting. I like it. I'm very sure you're going to like it. So stay tuned. Keep watching. So these were cleaned on the boat already. All I need to do now is um, fillet my fish. Um, this is my first time filleting a fish. But guess what? It's going to be filleted. Cutting through. All right. So there we go. That's my first time. So guys, leave a comment and tell me, you know, how you think I did on my first fillet. Ooh, this is nice. There we go. All right. So guys, I'm gonna get these cleaned up. I'm gonna use some lemon juice. Then I'll cook them for about five minutes. lightly cooking the fish I'm not gonna add any season because later when I'm making the fish cake it will be seasoned at that time. So after about a minute I'm gonna flip the fish over to the So guys even though I like to eat my fish head the bones and everything um, there are certain recipes that you just don't want um, bones or skin to be in. In this case, I don't want the bones or the skin in my fish biscuit. So um, I'm going to remove the skin by lightly cooking the fish. And this is just my method. If you have another way to do that, leave a comment. I said fish biscuit, but fish cake, right? So I'm 
removing the skin guys it's just peeling off so easily I guess this method of lightly cooking works and I'm just going to do like a final check for any bones that might remain in the fish here so I'll also feel the bones better I catch them now than catch them later in my throat right or my teeth yeah so this is good I'll just dump that here so there is one in fact this section is also called quality control the last thing you want is when you're eating your um, fish cake for your fish cake to turn, turn up into a bone cake, huh? Now, nah. So I'll finish deboning and de-skinning my fish and I'll be right back. Bling. So guys, this is the amount of fish I have after I um, finished removing the flesh from my fillet fish. And I went ahead and I cut up my um, peppers and onion. I have three types of peppers and my onion. So now I'm gonna go ahead and saute this. Look at all these colors guys. So I'm going to cook my veggies lightly until they're translucent and then I will mix them in my uh, veggie mix for my fish cake. So guys I have my sauteed peppers and onions from earlier. I just made some um, breadcrumbs and of course my fish. So I'm going to add all of these before I do that let me get some green onions. These will not only add color, but flavor. All right, so I'll add my steamed peppers and onion. So I'm gonna add some black pepper, guys, some salt, and of course, turmeric. So let me mix these up and get to the next step. Some people may want more flavor than what I add in here. If you want, you can add whatever, maggi cube, paprika, you name it. So I'm leaving this to sit for about 30 minutes. That way the breadcrumbs can absorb the moisture and expand. And um, when I'm ready to make the cake, it will be easier to form or stick together. Now I'm going to make these fish cakes so you can see the consistency guys. I'm going to make it into a ball. So now I have it round, so I'm going to poke a hole. I'm going to add my veggies. All right, guys, that's the first one. So that's one down, many more to go. So time to get these in the pan, but before I do that, let me add some butter, guys. All 
Alright, now that the butter is melted, I'm going to go ahead and add these fish cakes to the pot. Just looking for these to get slightly brown guys here they are man all right so it's time to remove these fish cakes from this pot try my best not to break them Now I'm going to pop it in the, I'm going to pop these in the convection toaster oven. I'm going to turn it to about 350 degrees and I'm going to leave it here to bake for 15 minutes. If I can add more time if it needs it. Veggie fish cakes are finally ready guys. They smell so good. I can't wait to start to taste these. Let me dig in. Look at those layers of vegetable inside. Wow. A few pieces of cucumbers. Let's squeeze some lemon. Some flavor. These fish cakes are really good. I can taste like a burst of different flavors in it. I can taste the peppers, the onion, the turmeric. This is really good. That green onion I added in there, man, burst of flavors, guys. Really good. So as you have noticed earlier, I added more fish than anything else. So I like the taste of fish in a fish cake. You know, some people add a lot of potato, a lot of bread in. I don't like that. If I'm eating fish cake, I must be tasting fish in my in my fish cake, okay? So who's that pepper? It's good, right? Mm. While I'm at it, I must say I want to shout out the crew of the Mary Jean 4 fishing boat. That's all for today guys. I'll see you in the next video. Please share, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you don't like what I cook, leave a comment. If you like what I cook, leave a comment.